So here at Gannon's Antiques and Art, one of the Civil War letters that I'm going to share with you right now is a little different than the rest from this group because it doesn't deal so much with the war as with the politics. So that's kind of interesting and, and, and it is very interesting. This is written, these last three letters that I have are, are written all by the same man. His name is Will, I think, Stevenson. And he's writing to Mr. David Stevenson, so it must be a family member. Uh, and he starts off talking about the children and diphtheria and their health and that, that uh, they've, they've had a hard time with health. But then he goes on to um, say, the all-absorbing theme here, as elsewhere, is the war and the hard times. I suppose the hard times will outlast the war and the end is hard to see at present. Ohio was drafted on the first of last month. There were 11 from this township and about 250 from this county. A great many sent substitutes, so it's kind of neat that you could send a substitute for a certain price. The price ranged from $200 to $400. So if you didn't want to go to war, you could send a substitute and pay him two or $400. Um, David, I hope you have not changed in your political views. I remember one <coughs> remark in your last letter that you would rather be called an abolitionist a dozen times as a secessionist, even once. Well, it is very common these times for abolitionists to call hard names, but for my part, I would rather leave one or the other as both are enemies to the present form of no, government. You might have asked what silver sells and, a few, and if a few hundred of each had been hung a few years ago, we would not be where we are at present. So these are pretty harsh views, and then they, and then they keep on. He keeps on going. As a nation, we have grown and produced well under the old democratic rule, and continues on to give his philosophy. Then he continues to to give what what things cost in that day, how much the cattle is, how much the hogs and the sheep, butter, wool etc. And then the end, he says, I suppose you have heard of the democratic victories in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana. I hope we will hear the same result from some half dozen more states that votes this week, and then I think it will tell on some of the radicals in our weak and corrupt Congress. So, interesting, the politics of the day, this was one man's view, great, great reading, nice historical document, got a couple more to share with you on another YouTube video. If you have some Civil War documents that you would like to sell, we're always looking to buy because it really is interesting. Thanks for watching.